Hello everyone. Are you annoyed by the persistent ringing in your ears? You are in right place because we are going to unravel the mystery surrounding tinnitus as we unveil a recent scientific discovery, a new cause of tinnitus that has been identified. Join us on this journey as we explore the implications of this breakthrough in understanding and addressing the challenges faced by those affected by this persistent and often perplexing condition. But before that if you have not subscribed to our channel please hit that subscribe button. The enduring annoyance of constant ringing or other auditory sensations in the ears extends beyond mere inconvenience. Tinnitus symptoms often prove debilitating, leading to sleep disturbances, social isolation, heightened anxiety, and depression. This, in turn, has a detrimental impact on work performance, significantly diminishing the overall quality of life for many individuals affected by this condition. The quest for a cure remains contingent upon a comprehensive understanding of the intricate mechanisms governing the genesis of tinnitus. Scientists acknowledge that tinnitus, a condition characterized by ringing in the ears, affects 10% of adults globally. The cause remains elusive, challenging the conventional belief that tinnitus is solely linked to prior hearing loss. Researchers at the Massachusetts Eye and Ear Infirmary revealed that some with tinnitus excel in standard hearing tests due to undetected hidden hearing loss, which involves auditory nerve damage. The lead author, Dr. Stephen F. Mazone emphasizes that their findings reconcile the connection between tinnitus and auditory nerve loss, even in individuals with normal hearing. The study likens tinnitus to phantom sound, where the brain compensates for hearing loss by increasing activity, akin to phantom limb syndrome. This groundbreaking research sheds light on the complex interplay between hearing perception and tinnitus. This comprehensive study involving 294 adults, categorized into those without tinnitus, those with temporary tinnitus, and those with persistent tinnitus, revealed intriguing insights. Despite all subjects performing well on a traditional pure tone test, a different test employing electrodes uncovered significant findings. Those with tinnitus exhibited reduced responses in auditory nerves and heightened activity in the brainstem. Dr. Stephen F. Mazone, the principal investigator, views this study as a crucial initial stride toward the ultimate objective of silencing tinnitus, shedding light on the intricacies of this persistent auditory phenomenon. Currently, there is no known cure for tinnitus. However, experts suggest trying one of the following to find relief. People with tinnitus who have hearing loss may benefit from hearing aids. Using a hearing aid makes sounds louder. People with severe hearing loss along with tinnitus may benefit from cochlear implants. Unlike hearing aids, which amplify sound, a cochlear implant bypasses damaged portions of the ear to deliver sound signals to the hearing, auditory, nerve. Maskers. These provide help for some people by making tinnitus less noticeable. This small electronic device creates a sound that may make the ringing or roaring seem softer. Tinnitus Retraining Therapy This therapy uses a combination of counseling and maskers. Otolaryngologists and audiologists can help a person learn how to deal with the tinnitus. Tinnitus can affect your quality of life. Your healthcare provider may be able to determine the underlying cause, which can then be treated. Work with your healthcare provider to determine strategies for reducing tinnitus. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness content. If you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover in our next video, drop a comment below. We love hearing from our community. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Stay healthy, stay happy.